Welcome back for another MetaZoo News update for April 3rd through April 10th, 2022. I am the One-Eyed Crow and we're going to get into this week's news, but first, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. I am going to be releasing a video detailing some subscriber goals and giveaways that I want to be doing. So get a jump on that, subscribe now, and you won't have to worry about doing that for the giveaways. All right, to get us started on April 4th around noon, we got our first look at the eBay boxes. And what we know about these boxes so far is that there's going to be 10 eBay branded booster packs in each box. It's going to have a holographic token box topper. So we've seen holographic terras, we've seen holographic auras. Now we're gonna be seeing holographic tokens. And those have been confirmed not to be specific to wilderness tokens. We're gonna to be getting the full gambit of token box toppers possible here. As we jump forward to April 8th, we got a look at the eBay boxes again with some card reveals here. So you can actually get a look at the cards as they are with the eBay stamps. If you'll also notice in the bottom corner, they don't have any addition symbols on them. It's completely removed. And we're going to be getting these on the 25th of April. Overall, the eBay boxes are going to be much of the same of what we've seen already. They're going to be the same cards that are in Wilderness, except for the Secret Rares. They're all going to be available in this box, but they're going to have the eBay logo on them. So what MetaZoo is doing is they're dropping the idea of second edition, and they're instead having this idea of, okay, we're going to release the same cards again, maybe not the Secret Rares. We're just going to brand them a little differently. We're going to work with eBay to get exclusive sets out through them. We're going to work with 7-Eleven maybe in the future to get sets out through them instead of doing second edition. So first edition is the tried and true MetaZoo release of a set. And then these branded themed versions will be essentially second editions. So I feel like going along this lines, your eBay boxes are probably going to be more rare, but less desirable because they're not really going to be first edition. April 4th was a big day for updates. Two hours after that, we got a look at the Caster Cup boxes, and these are likely to be boxes of five packs. And I think that because the allocations to participants are in multiples of five. The box looks like it's going to have gold foil on it. And for the art, we can see a Mothman cup or chalice. And behind that, you have some Dragon of Akanto Falls type art coming out the back of that chalice, which is really interesting. And the side of the box features a gold, silver, and bronze chalice. The following day, April 5th on Facebook, we actually got a look at the Caster Cup packs as well. And we can see about one third of a promo card on there. I'm pretty sure it says Caster's Cup. So it looks like there's gonna be a Caster Cup promo that goes along with tournament participation. Jumping back to April 4th on Facebook, there was a post that said, you guys asked when, so we're here to tell you soon. And this is related to the NFT side of things. And what it is, is a picture of the NFTs and behind them, you can see the physical cards that are related to those NFTs for the Salamander Queen, the Jersey Devil, which looks like it has two different versions, the Silver Party Token and the Mothman. The NFT holders are gonna be getting physical cards to go along with their non-physical tokens. On April 4th, we had a MetaZoo Hour. I will summarize that towards the end. We actually had two MetaZoo Hours this week, with the second being on April 10th, the day that I'm recording this video. April 4th was a big day, but the last update for that day was around 6 p.m. Eastern. We got another look at the dragon-themed sleeves. We now know that they're going to come in packs of 50, and these can actually already be purchased for $10 on the MetaZoo Marketplace. Myself, I know I'm going to get at least one pack of these. I do want to put one of my decks in these sleeves. Our next update was about 24 hours later, the night of April 5th, simply saying B plus N. And a lot of people took that to mean Barnes and Noble. And what I'm wondering is, does Barnes and Noble really sell cards? Are they really known for selling cards? Maybe? It's not something that I'm too familiar with. So my guess is this could be more related to the illustrated novel distribution. I think that Barnes and Noble maybe is going to be the first ones to pick up the book or work with MetaZoo to release that illustrated novel. 
Now this update on April 6th, I'm pretty excited about. We got a preview of the Invasion Toys partnership. It's gonna be figure based this time around. And from this preview, we get a look at the Poltergeist and Sinkhole Sam in their full form. And we see two silhouettes. And the silhouettes, I believe, are Quetzalcoatlus and Piazza Bird shooting flames out of its face. So I'm pretty excited for these. I know some people are gonna go the Funko route, which seems pretty cool as well. These seem like they might be smaller figures than the Funkos, might take up less space. I'm curious to see the size of these and what these are really gonna look like and the full set. Moving forward to April 7th at around 11 a.m., there was a quick drop of a rat wearing a crown. I was not quick enough to get the screenshot myself, but it was sent to me. Thank you to Fizzgig for getting to that to me quickly. Now this post was quickly removed, but it didn't really matter because about an hour later, it was replaced with the actual promo itself. So this is a New York City based promo called New York City King or NYC King. It's a rat wearing a crown. And we actually do know more about this from today's MetaZoo Hour. So in today's MetaZoo Hour, it was said that in order to get this promo, you'll need to take a selfie with the Times Square ad and you'll need to scan the QR code that's part of the ad. The exact details on that weren't fully disclosed, but I imagine that that QR code is gonna bring you to a page to then upload your selfie or whatnot to get the promo. Further that night on April 7th, we got two drops around the same time of the Boogeyman. And these both are related to Spookula. And it's a special version of the Spook Light card with the Boogeyman and the Spookula stamp in the corner. And the ability of this card reads, when this page is placed into the afterlife, you may have Target Beastie lose 20 life points, which is pretty interesting. It has a low life point count itself, so it's pretty easy to kill. You could use this card to kill it yourself, which then would inflict 20 damage on another Beastie. Another update on April 7th, closer to the evening, uh, 9.23 p.m. Eastern, was the drop of the local game store guidelines for 2022 or before the release of the UFO set. And I've already done a video on this with more detail into that. So if you'd like to watch that video, I will put that at the end of the video so you can watch that after this update. It was a pretty interesting video to do and the comments coming out of that were kind of eye-opening to people feeling alienated by the events or how the LGS rollouts have been treated. So please check that out. At a high level, basically there's two tiers of LGS support in the future, and there's not gonna be any allocations to stores that aren't doing events in some form or another. Now, one of the things that I really learned from doing that video is that there's really not a lot of LGS support in the middle of the country. A lot of those states, you have to travel pretty far to find a store to get a sanctioned event to get qualified for the Caster's Cup. And that was one of the gripes about this whole thing is people that want to participate but aren't close to qualifying matches, they either need to travel really far to qualify or they're just out of luck until more LGSs pick this up. So in today's MetaZoo Hour, there was a comment from Flork and I'm just summarizing here, but he asked about groups getting together without LGS support for small towns and isolated areas to do their own tournaments or events. So they'd have to have a metazoologist, they'd have to have you know, the right type of support from MetaZoo to be able to do an event that would allow people to qualify for the Caster's Cup. And this is a great idea. And Mike had actually responded to this saying, I like that idea. So until we get better support for LGSs, until it expands, if it even does in those area, we need support for either some kind of online play, which I know Mike has been against in the past, to qualify for things like the Caster's Cup, or we need people to work together to create these types of homegrown grassroots tournaments to allow people to qualify for things like the Caster's Cup. Moving on to April 8th, a little afternoon, we got a look at the backpacks for Wilderness. So we have a unicorn backpack in red, an Old Man Winter backpack in blue, a Snipe backpack in yellow, Cumberland Dragon in green, Awful in black, and Dragon of Acanto Falls in a rainbow color. And these are up on the MetaZoo Marketplace currently for $50. I know for me, if I was 20 years younger, I would jump on some of these. But at my age, I'm not really going around with backpacks too often. And my kids are too young to really need a backpack like this. So I'm setting this one out, but they are nice looking backpacks. So take a look at those. And on the evening of April 8th, it was announced that you can now listen to all of the MetaZoo theme songs on Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, and all other music platforms. I don't know what all other music platforms includes. I would assume Pandora, maybe Alexa, I don't know. So if you're interested in listening to the theme songs on a regular basis, 
you can do that now. And for the last major update before we get to the MetaZoo hours, on April 9th at 10 p.m., it was announced that Redemption cards are being released with Revive. And I'm kind of on the fence about these because you need to scratch an area at the bottom of the card. And it seems like that could really ruin the card and, and people may not want to scratch the cards, especially for things that they might consider desirable. If you have a rare card, you're not going to want to scratch that and redeem it. It's going to ruin the quality of that card. So I'm curious to see how this goes and, and how this is rolled out, how they're going to combat people not wanting to redeem the cards, if at all. And the preview we got for that is the Flying Manta Ray, which caused yet another stir because people are forgetting that even though Flying Manta Ray is on the reserve list, it was announced that it was going to be reprinted for Revive ahead of the reserve list. It was already in production by the time that the reserve list came out, so it did not qualify as part of the reserve list for this specific release. All right, so let's talk about the MetaZoo hours from the April 4th MetaZoo hour. The Kickstarter is likely going to start shipping in June. I don't think this is much of a surprise. I think they originally said May to June, but June is still on track. I'm pretty excited to get those cards in hand. I will be waiting the extra time for the gilding, so mine are probably going to be more in August. For the April 10th MetaZoo hour, we did get confirmation that Revive is going to be releasing on the 15th, so just a few days from now. And those are going to be Blind Drop, which I think people are just finding out about today. So you don't actually get to choose your board, which I think is going to keep a lot of people away from this. I'm not a skateboarder, so I'm sitting this one out. I'm going to sit back, watch, and see how this rolls out. I'm a little concerned that it's not going to be as popular as they think because of the blind drop. We also got confirmation that the fan art set will be releasing between Revive and eBay, so we actually know those dates. So it's going to be between the 15th and the 25th. So sometime in that range, my guess is going to be right in the middle around the 20th, 21st, we're gonna get those fan art cards. So please keep an eye out on MetaZoo Marketplace for those. Uh, those blister packs are gonna be in short supply. I believe the print run on those is gonna be 10,000. So those are gonna go quick. We got confirmation that Cyberpunk Cryptids are gonna be in the special Aoki set, which I'm actually kind of interested in to see what that's gonna look like. Like what is a Cyberpunk Cryptid? No further details on when that set's gonna release yet. And then jumping back over to the Caster's Cup, they're hoping for a turnout of about 100 people, and they're going to be capping that at 500 entrants. So if you're interested in that and you're going to be at Dallas-Fort Worth, make sure you get in early just in case it is more popular than they think to get your registration in. And the big question on everyone's mind, what are those gold cards for? I have my theories. I've done a video about that. I'll put that at the end of the video if you're interested to see that. And Mike's response to that is he's going to give more info on the gold cards and how many are out there soon. So I know I'm looking forward to that. I think everyone else is as well. To the best of my knowledge, there's only been one pulled so far. So either they're incredibly rare and Hyperbole was very lucky and somebody maybe has some stashed away in their sealed case, or some have been pulled and people just aren't talking about them because either they don't know what they have or they want to keep it a secret. So those are all the updates I have for you today. I do want to thank you for watching. As I mentioned, please keep an eye out for a video that will drop soon about the subscriber milestone giveaways and what you could win with those. Subscribe if you haven't already, just to be part of those now without having to wait for the details. Essentially, I'll be giving away some of this stuff. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.